En tiedä mikä sussa oikein kiinnosti Mut heti mulla silloin kyllä välä Hi, I'm Ben Scarborough. Welcome to Scarflix and video number two in the one 365 video a day YouTube challenge. So did you see bright? No, I'm, you, I'm good on that shit. Yeah. You wouldn't even fall asleep to it? Fall asleep to a movie? Well, it's a, it's a movie. It costs Netflix around $90 million to make. It stars Will Smith. It was directed by the guy that did Suicide Squad. It dropped uh, December 22nd, and it's set in a fantasy version of Los Angeles present day. This video contains no spoilers. So this project is really interesting. Usually audiences and critics share similar views when it comes to movies, but not Bright. Oh no. This movie is straight up sitting at 28% critic score on Rotten Tomatoes right now. And the user score? A remarkably high 88%. Now we've seen large user critic gaps like this before with movies like Batman vs Superman, but not a gap this large. So apparently users hate how many F-bombs there are in the movie. I've read a few posts online about the family gathering around the television set the night of December 22nd, only to have to stop the film and tell their kids to leave the room. No real uh, rating system out there on old Netflixy, huh? User reviews on Netflix itself show that a majority of its subscribers actually loved the characters and the plot, which are exactly what critics hated about it. It's almost as if Netflix knew that their visitors would respond well to the movie long before its debut. Hmm. That would explain why I was so quick to order a sequel. They announced Bright 2 like the day the movie dropped. So what, right? There's uh, some world building that doesn't really live up to its potential and the uh, social commentary is a little heavy handed. But it's got Will Smith. You know, Netflix doesn't release any of its streaming stats, right? Netflix so crazy. I wonder what kind of hidden metrics Netflix bases their uh, successes on. Get this, Nielsen announced way back in October that they would measure Netflix viewership, and today the company put out some numbers. The ratings giant noted that because Bright is a feature film, its data is hard to compare to other SVOD shows like uh, Stranger Things or even The Crown. So, only tracking TV viewership, not other devices like game consoles or iPads or anything like that, the movie drew an average minute US audience of 11 million TV views during its first three days on Netflix. So, to put that into perspective, Nielsen found that 15.8 million people watched Stranger Things 2 over the same period of time, and The Crown's second season premiere saw 3 million viewers. So you liked it, right? You know, if you watched the movie and you want another peek into the world of Bright, Netflix just released a new featurette called History of Magic on their channel that gives fans a peek into the backstory that should have actually been in the film. I'll uh, paste the link in the video description. In other Bright-related media, there's the soundtrack. Netflix really spared no expense here. The lead single features DJ Marshmallow and the Migos, y'all. The song Danger received a music video and is currently being distributed by Atlantic Records. I like it, I really do. You know, it doesn't sound that great in my car for some reason, but it does sound great when played very loud. So what do I think about Bright? Uh, I don't know yet, I'm actually halfway through it right now, so I'm actually gonna go and pause that thing and finish it. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button. If you wanna see one video every single day of the year on this channel, then you need to hit that subscribe button. If you liked Bright, let me know in the comments. I'm really interested to know who legitimately enjoyed this movie versus who hates it at this point. And I'll see everybody tomorrow. Peace.